Welcome to MLab or Bajika Laboratory. I'm Nisha, your quirky leader in chief, and I'm joined by my fellow quirky colleague, Erica. Hello. Today we'll be creating a 3D model inspired by Queen Ramonda or the Queen of Wakanda that will be featured in the upcoming film, Black Panther. Ready to get started? Yeah. So to get started, we're going to be using a CAD software. Our software of choice, Tinkercad. If you look at Queen Ramonda's crown, it's made with three basic shapes. One, a half sphere, the other, a tube, and a cone. So we're going to find those objects in Tinkercad and assemble it. We'll start with the half sphere. Make sure you dimension each of the objects so that they're proportionate. We'll bring in the tube. Make sure you're aligning all the objects so that they're at the center. We'll also bring in the cone and adjust the size. We'll make sure that the top is bigger than the bottom. And we're going to take out some material from the top as well as the bottom using the hold command. We'll group everything, change the color, that's it. Well, now that we have our CAD model of Queen Ramonda's crown, I think it's time to send this to the 3D printer. Hey guys, I'm here. Hey. 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 Daryl, it's our time to build something marvelous. Okay. What's Erica, up, Daryl? What's up? how's it going? Good. Ready to get started? Sure. Let's get to it. And by the way, we're being very serious about this. This is Black Panther after all. <laughs> Today we have a very special guest, Daryl from the Broken Nerd YouTube channel. And we're gonna ask a couple of questions about Daryl's maker journey, as well as participate in a little maker activity. Welcome, Daryl. Thank you. In 140 characters or less, could you describe what you do, what's your work, etc.? Sure. Husband, father, hobbyist, and maker. Wow, you were a pro at this. Like, that was way less than 140 <laughs> characters. What do you feel will be the impact of the film on young people? Being able to see the movie, be inspired by what we're doing, or what I'm doing, or what anybody, any, any other maker is doing, and saying, hey, I can go out and do this. Hey, I want to make a prop from that movie. Hey, I want to make that mask. And then having the tools to do it and is readily available to them, I think it's inspiring. I think we're going to see a shift in in, in makers and hopefully soon. Like T'Challa in Black Panther, you are actually the ruler of your own kingdom at home. So I wanted to ask, how do you feel they supported you or how they encourage your maker journey? I would have to say my wife is very, very encouraging. As a king, you have to model what your people want to be. You can't mm -hmm. just rule with the iron fist and not embody what you're trying your to have over your kingdom. So I just want my kids to be able to carry on what I'm doing, and not even so much the making part, just the fact that, hey, daddy did that. Whether it's whatever they want to do, I can do it too. This is what my <laughs> Black Panther figurine looks like. See, we can tell you're the artist because I was just doing broad strokes <laughs> to try to go ahead. But all in all, I just wanted to say, thank you so much, Daryl, for your time and 